Catherine to set her apart in most stunning crown overshadow King Charles as future queen. As King Charles's coronation date looms closer, we're learning more details about what royal jewels everyone will wear on the special day. That includes Princess Catherine. Kate Middleton reportedly wants to forge her own path as the Princess of Wales and King Charles III's coronation may be the perfect opportunity to make a statement. It's likely that the recent minted Princess of Wales will use the historic moment as a way to set herself apart from the crowd. King Charles has reportedly felt overshadowed by his daughter-in-law in the past. Personally, I'm watching only to see what Kate decides to wear. Sorry, Charles. I'm certainly hoping we'll see coronation tiaras, but it's possible that Charles is following the example of some of his European counterparts like the King of the Netherlands and setting a daytime formal dress code for the event. We could see princes in a coronet. Well, technically, they're not crowns, simply as a future queen. They're coronets which are like small crowns. Members of the royal family and members of the title nobility, such as dukes and duchesses, will also get to wear them and the design of the coronet varies based on your rank and your relationship to the monarch. In fact, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret wore them during their father George VI's big day. I'll be sad that would mean that we could still see some grand jewels like necklaces, brooches and earrings, but not tiaras if that's true, but it may just be another part of the deformalizing of the British royal world that has taken place over the last several decades. However, if she does decide to add the dazzling accessory to her wardrobe that day, she is likely to choose between three gorgeous options, the Cartier Halo Tiara, the Lotus Flower Tiara, or the Lover's Knot Tiara. Meanwhile, Harry as the son of the monarch will get to wear a coronet featuring crosses and fleur-de-lis, a decoration design resembling a lily. As the Prince of Wales, William will get to wear a special coronet, his father's oldest coronet. While nothing is confirmed, it's a decision which, to the disappointment of royal watchers the world over, could be in line with the king's wishes for an inclusive and in-touch coronation which brings his passion for nature and sustainability to the fore and dials back the monarchy's historic taste for the world's finest jewels. In a break with tradition, Queen Camilla is already recycling Queen Mary's crown rather than having her own made and it won't feature the controversial Koh-i-Noor diamond which has been used in the crowns of Queen Consorts since it was acquired by Queen Victoria in 1850. And yet, where the Prince of Wales will pledge an oath to be his father's liege man of life and limb. It would be in keeping with his wife's habit of carefully selecting her clothes so that they do the talking to show her loyalty to the king by incorporating his interests into her choice of outfit for his coronation ceremony, nodding to his botanical hobbies with a garden goddess vibe rather than the fact that he now owns a priceless treasure chest of diamonds dating back centuries. Besides, if the Prince of Wales did decide to wear a tiara, it would be a choice with delicate political consequences. In a battle between sentiment and spectacle, it would be a huge honor for anyone to wear the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara, which was Elizabeth II's favorite, or Queen Mary's fringe tiara, which Queen Elizabeth wore for her 1947 wedding. But neither of those pieces would be as visually arresting as, say, the Burmese ruby tiara with its 96 rubies, or the Brazilian Aquamire tiara with its imposing oblong stones. Well, only time will tell what she wears. Reminder, in addition to being in the audience at the coronation itself, Kate is expected to appear on the balcony with King Charles and her fellow senior royals for a quick wave and photo op and will presumably be prominently featured in other events over the weekend.